Okay, this video is about straightening feathers. Now, these are guinea fowl feathers that I'm going to be using for uh, a video on eastern two fletch arrows. I'll just show you real quick. There's a couple of methods that I use for straightening these. The first is the most simple method that doesn't require heat, it just requires you to kink the uh, feather uh, to straighten it out. Just put some kinks in it with your fingernail. Just go down the uh, feather. And this, of course, is the easiest way to straighten it. I'll also in a minute I'll show you what to do with heat but if you don't want to use heat you can go ahead and do it this way alright so that's pretty straight good enough for the eastern two fletch now I'll show you the method with heat uh, I just brought some coals out of the fire here and uh, you just hold it close enough to the fire to get to about 200 degrees, I guess. You don't want it much hotter than that, or you'll burn the, uh, or you start to cause the uh, quills to deform. They won't burn; they'll just kind of curl up. But you can warm up the quill and then cool it down. By blowing on it. It's a cool day so that helps too to cool it down faster. As you can see that, that also works. Same principle as bending wood with heat. These quills are organic material, they'll respond the same way. It gets kind of pliable or elastic with heat. And when you cool it down, it'll retain its shape. So they take about the same amount of time. The, the difference is with this, with the kinked feather, it won't go back to its shape with heat. But if you get this hot again, it will tend to remember where it was bent and it'll, it'll become bent again. Now that's important if you expose your arrows to uh, hot weather or to a hot environment, the uh, feathers will bend again to the, back to the original shape or somewhat back to its original shape. Anyway, you get the idea on that. Here's a, uh, see, I got a better, fe I got a smaller feather. Same thing, uh, Eastern Two Fletch works really well with these small feathers. Uh, when you don't have a really big feather, you don't have to trim it when you're doing these. And these, you don't have to trim these off at all. You can just tie them down as is. The smaller feathers are good for that. And this is a domesticated duck feather. I believe these come from China. I, uh, I buy these online. Heat them up to about just bare, you know, so they're not going to burn your hands when you touch it and not hot enough to deform the quills or deform this uh, the veins
you get the idea. That was that was pretty well bent when I started, and uh, not much modification is needed after this for the eastern two fletch. Now it's um, you can lay these down on the shaft either this way so that the bottoms are facing out, or that way so that the tops are facing out. But straightening them really helps, especially if you want to have the nicer part of the feather looking outward. And uh, all you do is, when you're ready to mount these, you just take off part of this quill, or part of the veins. And that's pretty much ready. You just tie this down here. I'll get into this in the video on doing the, the two fletch. You just tie that, put these ends down, that end down, and this end down onto the shaft. But I'll show that in the, in the next video.